one. Go. In part B of this problem, we have we are asked to find the volume that you get when you rotate this shaded region that I've indicated on the board. Okay, this shaded region that you have here, we are asked to rotate this two pi radians or 360 degrees about the x-axis. As you can see, I have uh, summarized the problem. Rotate shaded region about the x-axis. Okay, you rotate one full turn. In other words, 360 degrees about the x-axis. And you're asked to find the volume generated. Okay, great. So, uh, keep an eye on the uh, region that is shaded. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to divide this region into two parts. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, let's divide this into this shaded region. I'm going to divide it into two parts. Okay, so I have one part here and one part here. Okay, so let's write down the coordinates. The x coordinate here is 6. So I'm going to call this region on the left that I've shaded here as A and let me call this B. So to evaluate the volume generated when you rotate the total shaded region above the x-axis, we can write it as V equals to VA plus VB. That is, you rotate this region A that I've indicated here, you rotate it about the x-axis, the volume generated will be VA. And this area that I've indicated here as B, if I rotate it about the x-axis, I'll get VB. I just add it up and I'm done. That's basically the idea. Okay, so let's start with VA. Since we are rotating about the x-axis, the formula that we have learned is pi y squared dx. Okay? Okay, good. So, let's leave the pi here. Now, y squared, okay, let me write it here. Y is, I'm going to erase that. Y is 1 plus 4x to the power of 1 over 2. Y squared, okay, will be 1 plus 4x. Square it, and you'll get 1 plus 4x. Okay, some basic indices. Okay, so we can write 1 plus 4x, and we have dx. And our limits go from x equals to 0 to x equals to 6. Okay, now let's do the integration. We have pi here, and we integrate 1 with respect to x, we will get x. When you integrate 4x with respect to x, you will get 2x squared. Upper limit of 6 and the lower limit of 0. Okay, uh, then we have uh, plugging in the 6, I have 6 plus, uh, this is uh, 6 squared here, 6 squared is 36, well let's do that, yeah? 6 plus 2 times 36, uh, when you plug in the 0 is 0, so we don't have to worry about that, and you'll get, uh, let me write it down here, uh, 72 plus 6 will be 78 pi, okay, so VA is 78 pi, so let me keep that here, Okay, good. Now let's take care of this area that I have indicated as B. So I'm going to erase this. Okay. Now, to find the volume generated when you rotate this region B about the x axis, let me draw a picture here. Okay, because this is a right angle triangle. So when you rotate it about the x-axis, you're going to get a cone. So let me just draw you a cone, okay? Okay, this is the cone that you're going to get. So the volume, so let me write, VB will be volume of cone. Okay, you're going to get a cone. What is the volume of the cone? It will be one-third pi r squared h. Okay? Now for the radius. This will be a radius, okay, let me just erase this a little bit and to show you, okay, I'll leave the A here, 
Okay, so this is my radius, and that will be 5. Okay, from the y coordinate here. My height, okay, 8 minus 6, let me write it, 8 minus 6 will be 2. So I have a cone here that is uh, generated, uh, radius, uh, base radius of 5 and a height of uh, 2. I can plug that in, 1 third. Two. So, 5 squared is uh, 25, 25 times 2, 50, and I'll get 50 over 3, 5. Okay, so let me write it here, VB will be 50 over 3, 5. Good, so now to get the total volume generated, okay, we're almost done. So that will be VA 78 pi plus 50 over 3 pi. You can use your calculator. Let's see 78 times 3, uh, 24 to 234 plus 50. 234 plus 50 will be 284 over 3 pi unit cube. And we are done.